am in need of a really good wash. I mean, I need somebody to get in the scalp. Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am back with a sister lock update for you, so let's go on and jump right in. I dare not begin without thanking you for stopping by my channel today. Thank you, you have no idea how much your click, your like, your comment, your time means to me. So thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my sister lock update video today. Okay, so two days ago, I crossed the 15 month mark of having my sister locks established. So I felt like this would be a very good time to do an update. So I'm gonna go on and just start talking about the progress of my locks. I can honestly say I am loving them more and more as time goes on. I know that when I first got my locks, I, I can honestly say I did really, really like them. <laughs> Like, I liked them, I did. But when I go back now and I look at pictures, I'm like, did I really go out looking like that? <laughs> Just because the progress and the growth has just been so, it's been an immense amount of growth. It's thickened up, it's dropped a little bit. I'm starting to feel kind of like myself a little bit again. So it's just all coming to a full circle moment. But I will honestly say, when I told you guys the week after I got my locks that I liked them, I can honestly say I did. Um, but I guess I just, but I guess I just like them more now. I do, I do. And I guess that's why they say you really need to embrace every single stage. So as always, I like to start off by talking about the progress that I've seen. Now, as you can see, my hair has definitely thickened up. They have settled in very nicely. Um, they've even dropped a little bit, meaning they're kind of hanging, kind of growing downward a little bit. Um, honestly, with this process, I have very fine hair, so I did not know how thick my locks were actually going to be. Um, but so far, I'm, I'm happy with them because they're definitely not see-through anymore. <laughs> not like they were. Um, I still have some of the relaxed ends on my locks and that is still kind of like the thorn in my side when it comes to my sister lock. But overall, I am still very happy with my locks. I, I do love the shape that it has taken. Um, I still wear the same style, guys. And I've told you this in previous videos. I don't really change it up often. I might change the part and go over to this side. <laughs> I might like pin it up to one side sometimes. But most of the time, it doesn't change and it's okay. My ends are still very curly. Um, the ones in the back just kind of curl on their own. And I've told you before that's because when I was still a loose natural, I did a big chop and I cut most of the back of my hair, but I left the front and the top of my hair um, long and that's why I still have the relaxed end. So the way that these stay curly is still from the braid out. So when I wash my hair, I still braid and band. I definitely have to braid more braids. Um, I have to braid smaller braids, but it's all good. I wash my hair once a week, and after I wash them and I just take down the braids, it holds this curl pattern. Um, I would like to see how my locks would look straight like just kind of straight hanging down but like I said um, I've let my braid out get pretty old before like I've I've done this like waited two weeks on purpose before I wash my hair and I've seen the top of my hair like right here where you have this nice little relaxed end right here that you can clearly see is a lot thinner than the base of the lock and they just get straight they just look like little strings and I don't like their look. <laughs> so that's why I'm considering actually um, cutting those locks. So yes, so that's how I feel about my progress. 
Y'all, this is generally it. Like, this is why I always say, I don't know what I will tell you guys about these locks because I'm literally just trusting the process. <laughs> like, that's literally all you can do with this process. This is not a journey of vanity. Um, you really have to be confident in yourself. Um, and if you're not, it's gonna make you confident, okay? You're gonna have no other choice but to be confident in yourself. And that's just what it is when you uh, make the decision to lock your hair. Um, another thing is I still love the convenience. I am very busy. So like my shirt says, honey, I'm in my mom era. I mean, <laughs> I have three kids, I work, I am busy all the time so the time that i save from having to deal with my loose natural hair with having these locks is next to none like i wouldn't trade that for anything i have um, a boy and two girls and with my girls i have to make sure that their hair stays together one of my babies is locked as well and i maintain her locks and my other daughter is not but we do braids and we do different protective styles and i just prefer this way so locking my hair definitely helped me to save time and energy as far as how much I put into my own um, loose natural hair as well. I do want to say this as well. You know how we all kind of have our own like lock crushes, right? So remember earlier in some of my other lock videos, I told you guys to make sure that you're following people who kind of have the same hair texture as you, maybe even the same curl pattern, but their hair is similar to yours because you don't want to be looking at someone's hair that might be a 4C natural and you're a 4A or a 4B, or you might just have a finer texture hair than that person and thinking your hair is gonna turn out like theirs and it doesn't. So with that, being said one of the people that i like to follow is let's journey i love her locks she started out with fine hair as well and i have followed her journey for a very long time i think she's like maybe six or seven years locked now i could be wrong but i do remember there was one video she posted and i like to watch videos that are like at the same stage that i'm i'm in my lock journey so when she was like i think maybe a year or two years into her journey she did a video where she felt she said she felt like the back of her uh head like it looked flat in the back and i thought that was just me i literally thought that i was the only person kind of struggling with that because um of the fine like the fine texture of my hair but she said over time it gets better and at the beginning of my long journey i definitely felt like they were very flat in the back i felt like I was just doing a lot to try to make them look full up here and then there will be nothing back here. But I can honestly say, and I'm gonna turn around here, you can see that it's starting to fill in. It's starting to look fuller. So yeah, that's how I feel about that. I am also someone with very thin edges, like literally thin to no edges here okay and that is because of a skin condition i have as well as some traction alopecia somewhere in there down the line so that is why i generally wear my hair like this to kind of cover my edges i do moisturize my edges with oil i put oil on my scalp and my hair is still locking um i know that a lot of people say don't use oil for like the first year I did, like I said, the loctician that started my locks told me to do whatever I needed to do for my hair and that's just the advice that I follow from the beginning and my hair has still locked and is still locking. I have had, I have had no locks to unravel. Now that I think about it, I have not had any locks unravel. Now I'm not oiling my scalp every day or anything like that. I might oil it like once a week. Um, I do have a lock spray that I spray onto my locks. Um, it's a mixture of rose water, um, regular like uh, purified water and some hair oil. And it, I don't use a lot of it. I just kind of mist it, not even every morning, maybe every other morning to just kind of make my hair just, you know, have a little bit more body. Because sometimes after you've uh, woken up and you take your bonnet off, it can be just, you know, a little stiff. So that's why I spray that on my hair from day to day. So I guess I've already started talking about maintenance. So I still go and get my locks retied every four to six weeks. Six weeks is the longest that I have been for a retie. And I think the only thing that I noticed as far as like 
I guess you can say it's a con with that was, you know, many locticians charge you more the longer that you go without a retie. And that was probably the only thing because honestly, I love the way my hair looks when a retie is old, when it's time for a retie. So I try to like let it flow like that for like two weeks before I go and get a retie. So I actually just had a retie, I actually just had a retie. So I am not scheduling my next retie. I'm probably gonna do five weeks for my next retie. I did switch locticians. Um, as you guys know, I am in the Houston, Texas area. And when you see the memes that say Houston is an hour away from Houston, it's true. It's true. Houston is an hour away from Houston. <laughs> So I said that to say the only reason I switched locticians is because my loctician that established my locks, she was kind of farther away from where I live. And the way my schedule started to change, I needed to be near where I live to get my hair retied. So I did um, switch locticians and my new loctician is also wonderful. Um, she also just gave me the go ahead to use conditioner on my locks. So up until this point, I have still just been washing my locks with shampoo only. And I've told you guys in the past, I was using the Suave Shampoo and the Carol's Daughter um, Curl Day Delight, I believe that's what it's called. And I also use the Design Essentials um, Shampoo as well for um, itchy dandruff scalp. And that's all I have been using. But she did give me the okay. She said it's okay for me to start using a conditioner on my locks. And she also said I don't have to braid and band anymore. But like I just told you guys, I think I'm going to continue to braid and band until I figure out what I'm going to do with these, these ends up top. But as far as using conditioner goes, I'm going to tell you my plans with that. So, before I locked my hair, when I was still a loose natural, my stylist that I was going to... She absolutely wonderful she's probably watching this video hey girl i'm getting ready to come back <laughs> she was wonderful and she had her own like um she called it a treatment and it was just so wonderful for my scalp it was kind of like a deep conditioning type of treatment it was so wonderful for my scalp it did wonders for my support dermatitis um, so I am actually getting ready to start going back to see her. My plans are to like let her wash and deep condition my hair right before a retie moving forward. So that's how I'm going to handle the conditioning thing because I think I've told you guys before, I'm not really a hair person or anything like that. And I know I could, I know that I can condition my own hair, but I would just prefer for a professional to do it. And plus, for those of you who are locked, you might understand me here. It's really hard to find a loctician that also washes hair. And I am in need of a really good wash. I mean, I need somebody to get in the scalp. So I'm going back to my stylist that I went to as a loose natural, and she's gonna wash and deep condition my hair. And life is gonna be good. <laughs> Life is going to be good because I'm just excited about that. That's just what I'm excited about right now at this time with these locks. <laughs> that is where I am with the maintenance of my locks. So before I end this video, there are a couple of other things that I want to talk about. So um, some of the questions that I have received on previous videos that I just have not answered um, because I really wasn't sure how to answer them. Um, but as I progress in this lock journey and ask different questions to my loctician, I can answer them for you now. Um, I have been asked how many locks I have and if I have like um, the small, medium or large sister locks or something of that nature. It was about the size of my locks. Um, so I want to just address those questions now. So I did not count my locks until I hit like 12 months. And I did it on purpose because... Honestly, I didn't care how many locks I had, but I just counted them just so that I would know. Um, and I don't have a lot of locks, which I knew that because of the density of my hair. So when I counted my locks, I ended up with 331 locks. And I know that people say the average for sister locks, for them to be considered sister locks, is 400. However, everyone's hair density will not allow for you to have 
400 plus locks. So I'm fine with that. I believe sister locks are based on the grid that you have. And y'all, in all honesty, to me, a lot of micro locks look like sister locks too. So, I mean, I know people with micro locks that don't necessarily have a sister lock grid. There's a just like sister locks. So to me, it just wasn't important for me to know that. But since you asked, I'm gonna tell you, I have 331 sister locks, 331 locks what have you, but um, to my understanding, I still receive the sister locks grid. And based on what I know, that is what is the differentiation mark between sister locks and micro locks. Also, I had another question about the size of my locks. So um, my new loctician did let me know that like in the back, and when my loctician actually established my hair, she did tell me that she did them smaller up top. And so in the middle they are, a bit larger um so i'm gonna try to get you like a get you a lock or so so you can kind of see um so this is one that's in the middle this is in the middle of my head shrinkage is real even with locks <laughs> and here is let me get one up top up here and here is one up top as you can see it is definitely a lot thinner Definitely a lot thinner and shorter. But that is because of the density of my hair. My hair is thicker around the middle and the back and it is thinner up top. So yeah, but I'm glad that those questions were asked because I do wanna create more videos on sister locks because I do feel like this is a very, um, it's a popular topic right now amongst black women because a lot of people are looking just for something easier to do with their hair and a lot of people want to be able to wear their natural hair. So I get it. Um, so if there's any other questions that you have that I can answer, maybe I can ask my loctician if I don't know the answer, um, just comment them down below and we can get some answers for you regarding sister locks or micro locks or whatever questions you have regarding this journey of wearing your natural hair in its locked form. Also, if there are any other sister lock type videos that you would like to see, comment those down below as well. Thank you so much for watching today. That is all I have for you. I will see you guys next time. Bye.